I am not doing what the game told me. Sarah, what are you waiting for? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to pick locks. going guys Sarah here today we're gonna continue the quest to save Nithus and hopefully hopefully we get to do this is the this is probably gonna be the part where it gets crazy and I'm kind of excited to do this so let's go let's go into this oh god I can't do this I can't <laughs> Sarah you have no idea how relieved I am to see you we have a problem a big problem I don't know what to do we gotta do man I called I should call Holly or should I? Oh, uh, yeah, I should. Shouldn't I? But, yeah, you should call your wife. But what do I say to her? Is there... What is there to say? What, we don't have time to... We don't have time to start panicking. Yeah, we don't. Come on. What am I saying? Medicine is gone. Time to start panicking! Okay, I think I need to calm him down. Like... Alright. You're right, Sarah. I need to focus. Breathe. Take a deep breath. Ah... <sighs> Take it easy now, Eric. Breathe. Panicking isn't going to help. I'm just like, okay, uh, are you done now? Like, are you finished? I'm sorry, sir. I'll try to explain. I don't know where to start. When Madison went missing, I'm sure she'd went off to three night dust, so I caught them I caught the tram down to the harbor. When I didn't find any trace of her being here, I was relieved. I hoped she that she just well gone somewhere else. What do you mean? You still haven't found her? How are you, not, how are you relieved? You encourage Eric to continue. Yeah, come on, man. I was just about to catch the next train, tram to, to Governor's Fall when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. It was Madison. I saw her on the other side of the fence sneaking into the warehouse. What? Hold on. I tried to call her out, but I don't think she heard me. Sarah, what should I do? We need to do something. Yeah, <laughs> We both know that she wants to save Nithus, but those men are dangerous. They've they've also brought in more guards since the last time we were here. I've got a bad feeling in my stomach about this. I expect them to be quite heavily guarded now. We've got to get inside to find Madison before the guards spot her. I don't even know I don't even want to think about what that what that Mr. Anweir fellow would do if she found her. Or if he found her. If only we could find a way to get inside the building. Sarah, would you help me? If we help each other, maybe we can find a way in. Hmm. Yeah, that's great. I like how I don't say any words. It's like in Grand Theft Auto, every the characters just are just mute. They never say anything. Thank you. It feels good. It feels good having you here. Of course. All right, we got no time to lose. We should start talking. We should start taking a look around. If Madison found a way in, there should be a way for us too. Okay. Oh, there's that guy in there. Okay. So we gotta go look around the fences, see if there's any way. There's not a way here. Those are sharp. How would she get in here? There's like a hole in the fence? Probably. Doesn't seem- that car has been there for days. There's no way? Okay. There's the cages from the horses, though. I wonder if they took the horses out already. Oh, God. That's scary. These weren't here before. I feel like they already took the horses out. Ugh. Aww. Didn't find a way in either? Oh, Madison. Why did you have to run away? Are you absolutely sure you didn't find a way in, Sarah? This is harder than I thought it would be. If there's no way in, we've got to get rid of the guards somehow. But how? It will be impossible without distracting them. Uh, give them a sandwich. Throw, throw a leg of meat in there. I don't know. <laughs> Wait! There we have it. We need to come up with a distraction to steal their attention. Hmm. But what could that be? I thought we did. Okay. I look like I'm dying. What? <laughs> I fainted. I wonder if he's going to like believe that's true uh, um 
As much as I like your imagination, I'm not sure it will help us pass all those guards. See, I don't think they would want to help me if I'm dying. Like, they're evil enough anyways. I don't think they would care. Sarah, you already risked a lot, so you don't have to do this. I've already- I've done so much. I don't care. This is nothing to me. But let me take care of the distraction this time. I think you have a better chance of getting in and out of the warehouse with Madison. Think you can do it? Yeah! Alright, let's go. Thank you. I'm not so sure how for how long I'll be able to hold those guards' attention. Alright, let's do this. Are you ready? Okay. Look at me. I like that I fainted those ladies. <laughs> what the heck? They changed their voices? Right now, Mama! I get that money off! <laughs> Ooh. It just magically opens. Magic. Okay. So, should I avoid them? I should probably not go to them then. I would, it, on my own time, I would probably go right in front of it just to, just to play, like just to mess with it. Ah! The fence hit me! Alright. Look at this guy. I probably can't be in front of him too. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up, hurry the... Hurry the crap up. Okay. You know, this flooring- <gasps> Oh, hey girl! What you doing? This flooring reminds me of, uh, Night- Five Nights at Freddy's and it's scary. It just reminds me of it. And the hallways, of course, yeah. Sarah! Psst. What are you doing here? There are- There are zillions of guards everywhere! Have you come to save- Help save me dust- Night of the Save night dust? I'm too excited. I knew it! Her voice is just gonna get higher and higher each time. Come on, Sarah, let's save Nightus and all the other horses. Okay, they're not, they're okay. Um, what? Are you on Dad's side or something? I'm not leaving this building without Nightus. Oh my god, he's on your side too, girl. He's just trying to get you, he just wants you saved. To the Knights of, oh great, to the Knights of Unistria? I think that's how you say it. Unistria abandoned their, chris their crystal unicorns when their sorcerer and Neiman? Neiman? Neiman banished them to the Obsidian Realm? Of course they didn't. That sounds really cool. <laughs> I know you'd do anything to protect Winter Cloud. Yeah, it was my cloud. My baby. Okay, yeah. Besides, Sarah, I and Commander Madison have a plan. A master plan. Tee hee. Alright. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, that creeped me out. Oh, God. Alarm went off, I think. Looked like it, I don't know. Okay, Agent Sarah, welcome to Operation Night Dust. The first thing we need to do is to make sure the little spies are asleep, because that's what the mother brain needs. That's That sounds cool, doesn't it? Asleep? A asleep? Okay. She, I'm like, but what, girl? Sarah, don't you... Sarah, don't you watch secret move, ancient movies? There are... They're always a code word for everything. The little spy, the little spies are all the surveillance cameras, and the mother brain is the, is the control room, the room where everything is controlled. Oh yeah, all right. I'm like, okay, yeah. Just, just get over with. Agent Sarah, at first stop, our first stop is mother brain or the control room. Psst. Hold on a second, Agent. Can you see those red lights or, uh, on some of the cameras? I think those red lights mean they can see us. Oh god. So when the right- the re Why are they always on? That like doesn't make any sense though. Those, those are like really low budget surveillance cameras. So when the red light is off, we should be able to pass by by unseen. Like actual ninjas. Think you can handle it, Ninja? Okay. Oh man. She wasn't even gonna stop. Okay. Oh god. Uh, wait. Which way is should I go though? Crap. Okay. That's the problem. I don't know where to go. Where to go? Oh god. I feel like it was about to turn on, so I was gonna run. Oh, I could just go under it and then ah! Oh, ah! Ah! oh god. <laughs> ah! Okay. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Right, right, go under- AH! Crap! I thought I went under it, it won't see me. Okay, I think she just went to the front. Oh, 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 okay. AH! AH! Oh, God. 
I can't do this! Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I totally went under the camera. They don't see you. The, the camera won't see you if you're under it. Like, that's, that's, that's how it worked. That's how it should be. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh. Go under it. But it's off, so I, why was I scared anyways? The camera was off. Oh god. This is actually nerve-wracking. Like, you don't know when they're gonna turn on. It's like, if I go right now, it might turn on, like, right now. Oh, see? Ah! See? Ah! Where do I go? Do I go this way? That's the thing. You don't- you don't tell me where- there's no map. Right- Ah! Oh god. Ah! Alright. Alright, this is not too bad. Is that the control room? Hold on. This is the control room. Ooh, what's this? It's a supply room, okay. I've never been in here before though. That's because we didn't we weren't, weren't allowed to. There's paintbrush. There's just a red pink red and pink paint over here. This is not where I wanna be. Alright. Uh uh. Ah! Oh god. What about this room? Was this the control room? The storage. Okay, well I'm still gonna go in anyways. I kind of, I'm curious to see what's in here. It's kind of like four. It says four on the thing. It's kind of like when I would play, um, well, I think, I guess Nancy Drew has games have this too, but like some mystery games, like puzzle games. Uh, like even if you're supposed to go to like one specific area, you can go into the other areas and find clues that, that might actually help you on your way. Oh uh, no, I should not be here. So, I mean, I don't think that's the case, so I don't think I'm gonna find anything significant in these rooms. But it's kinda cool to just look for things and maybe see if there's anything of importance. I think this is the laboratory. I don't think I'm supposed to go here, but I think there's another room. I mean, let me check. Oh god. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. I'm seriously doing this without doing the quest. Oh, there's three. It says three on there. I'm just doing it before the quest, like scouting the area, because I'm kind of like, I don't think it will catch me. Because I'm not doing quests. So it shouldn't catch me. This is just a, this is just a blocked door. Yeah, it's totally not catching me. <laughs> Where is the control room? Is it all the way by the laboratory? Where is the laboratory? Up through here. I'm literally. No. What? Okay, hold on. Am I supposed to go through? This is the laboratory. This is not a control room. I wonder if I can go in it. Ooh, I can. I can. And the horses are here, but I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> I am, like, I am not doing what the game told me. Hi, Night Dust. I'm here already. But we're not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to go to the control room and turn off everything, I guess. But I'm here though. All right, we're supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do it the right way, but I don't know where the control room is. Oh gosh. Cause it doesn't. Oh, 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 oh! They do to catch me. Oh well. Is the control room the laboratory? It might be, but that wouldn't make any sense. But there are- oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I thought it was like a separate room! Oh, well. Ah, so dumb. Woohoo! Great work, Agent Sarah! It seems like we both made it here unseen! All- Now all we have to do is get inside and turn off the mother brain once- once and for all. Just wait, Madam M Mother Brain! Nothing's going to stop the Commander Madison and Agent Sarah on their secret mission! Trent, time to peek that lock that's keeping us away from the mother brain. But I got in. I literally got in earlier. Like, <laughs> without... Ah, okay, there we go. I was about to say, like, is this the mother... Like, there are computers in here, but I was like, nah, that can't be it. That can't be the control room. It's this one. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, so it's that, uh, arrow thing again. So, if the arrow is green, you click on the... You click on the control... Uh, and then the if the thing is red, you click the opposite. Oh, okay. All right. That's what happens if you don't read. Hey, oh, pff, I wasn't paying attention. 
Oh, that's super cute. What the heck? It's like kid-friendly hacking software. All right. The kid is still- I mean the kid. The door is still locked. Curious. The security devices appear to be color-coded. Can you see the colors purple? You can see the colors blue, purple, yellow, and green. Sarah, what are you waiting for? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to pick locks. What? It's not working? Oh my god, that is creepy. That scared the crap. Alright. Whenever, whenever. Lucky, lucky that my ponies are small and humble so that you don't confuse with the stall- with them- confuse them with stallions. What is he- Hey! <clears throat> hey, cut it out, man! Your singing is terrible, and- and you don't even know the lyrics. Why is it lucky if your ponies are small? Of course they're small. They're ponies! <laughs> God. Alright. Sarah, did you hear that? Yeah? Sounds like someone's coming! We need to hide. I'm super good at hiding, but I don't know where we could hide anywhere here. Uh... In here? You can hide in here? No, I don't think so. How can we hide? Where would we do that? Where would we hide? In the hay bales? Oh, oh god, whoa. Okay, like crouch, crouching, crouching. Oh my god, we crouched this, this is so slow. Yeah, because they're so blind, they won't be able to see us. Look at my hat. <laughs> yeah, they totally won't see us. Psst, Sarah, can you see anything? I can't hear the, fa the steps anymore. Huh? Did you hear that? Ugh, I hate that, like, sound effect. For Star Stable, it sounds so wrong. Uh, we are what, you doofus? Like a bird or something? Go fetch that paperwork you left in the control room. The meeting's about to start. You know what the you know what the boss gets when he people arrive late? Uh, uh, <laughs> about that. What? Do you remember the code? No. No, you're the one who came up with the code. That's the thing each, each, the thing about each color representing a number. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I agree that it makes any, makes it any easier. Typical. I can't remember if it was yellow, if yellow was number three or, or was it blue that had the number. I think we've got time to swing to the spider storage rooms before the meeting. Oh, that's what there were! Oh, I get it now. The storage room, the storage rooms, why would we go in there? There's only junk in there. <laughs> well, I I forgot things easily. I forget things easily. And Mr. Anwar told me to not write the code down on a piece of paper. That's why I made the color, the key color. That's why I made a color key to remind me. There are numbers painted on the walls in the storage rooms, so I used those that way. I know that way I know which color goes each number, see? That sounds more complicated than it gotta be. My memory is always reliable, but my walls don't lie. <laughs> the numbers are on them are correct. I usually take the opportunity to walk past the storage room in the morning to remind myself of the code. Words cannot describe the level of idiosity that your brain of, of yours. Come on, you'll have to manage without your paperwork. We need to get to the meeting. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, see? I was right to go in those, in those storage rooms. Did you hear that, Sarah? Yeah. Agent, it seems like we have a solution to infiltra infiltrating the mother brain. We need to do is visit visit the different storage rooms and find the number that supposedly painted on the wall. What should we do is write the oh well oh, what happened? <laughs> All right. What should we tell this? I bet you she's talking. I can't think about it. And it's so funny. All right, she's still talking. And no one's there. The do is write the number down that each with each color. If if we do that, then we can come back here and enter the code. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I remember one of them was four, but I was like, it's either 
four green or four yellow? I can't remember. So, okay, two. Two is green. All right. Ooh, the music. Okay. Hooray! We're a great team! That's green number two! That which that means that the last that's which means the last digit of the code is two. How do you know it's the last digit? Oh, because it's it was like in a color order color thing. It was like blue, green, thing, blue, purple, yellow, green. I don't yeah, orange, green, I don't know. Rainbow? Okay. Okay, four was yellow. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Woohoo! We found a number! So the second number of the code is yellow. So, and we know that yellow means four. Should I write this down? I should write this down. Just in case. You know, you never, you can never be too careful. I always like to write things down when I'm playing games. If I need to remember something. I even made a list of what horses I should get with the amount of money and with how much they cost, each of them. <laughs> All right, and then saw how much that would cost me. Okay, so this is—I thought it was just a smear. Like I didn't think it was a number. I thought they were just like painting it and then got lazy. <laughs> All right, so one equals purple. So so one is purple. Uh, can you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I can remember that. I'm writing that down. Oh, please don't get me. Please don't get me. Oh, I made it so far. Okay, the blue, oh, it's three, okay. Oh, well, I mean, I could have figured that out. It was three on my own. I could have, like, put in two, two, one, could have put two and two together, because it's the next number. Okay, so blue is three. That means it's the first number of the code. Or the first, yeah. The first number of the code is three. Commander, calling agent, Sarah, do you copy? I'm right here. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'm right here. I think we have what we need to get inside the mother brain. Blue number- oh, I could have written down right now, but oh well. Better safe than sorry! Okay, come on. Enter the code. So blue is three. Three. Three and purple would be one. One eternity later. Click! The door is open. Yes. Ooh, wow. I wonder what's on here. I like to look at things before I do things. Like, what's this? Searching. I'm I'm searching in the air. Okay. Look at these look at these computers. High techy computers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Such quality. I go through the table. I go through the chair. Look at these. <gasps> what's that? Oh no. A USB with an old surveillance videos on it. Ooh. That's clever, Sarah. Tee <laughs> To be honest, I could- All I could come up with was what- Was that we could simply turn off the cameras. The USB- Oh! Ooh! So it's like we can replace- We can make the- The cameras play that. Like the normal video of just like nothing being there. Of them like recording it. But then- But in reality, they're not really recording what's going on right now. I've seen that. <laughs> But that means they're showing yesterday's thing. Okay. Okay. Haha! <laughs> 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 the mother brain and the little spies are out, Agent Sarah. Nothing can stop us two. We're the best, am I right? <laughs> Come on, Sarah. No time to lose. Operation Night Dust has just entered phase three. Jailbreak. Oh, yeah. We're gonna jailbreak those, girl those, those horses. <coughs> okay, excuse me. I'm glad you're with me, Sarah. I wouldn't have liked being back here if again alone. Oh. Come on, let's free Sarah. Oh my god, let's free Sarah. Yeah! <laughs> let's free Night Dust and other, other horses. Tee hee! I feel like a, a solid. I feel like a real soldier on a secret mission. And you and I can do anything together, right? Now let's just go open those cages and set the horses free. Yeah, come on! Stop talking! Oh no, Madison, Sarah- Oh, it's up to death. I was like, wait a minute, oh my god. <gasps> Hold on. Hold on, let me catch my breath. I need to catch my breath. Dad! Madison, Sarah! 
We need to leave right now! What do you mean? No, I won't do it. I will not leave Night Dust again. Madison, I don't know. Madison, I don't know when those men are getting back, but I do know something's about to happen. This place is not safe. It's gonna explode. The whole thing is gonna burn down to the ground. Sarah, after you made it inside the building, I've tried to find a way in there after you. That's 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 when I saw a big ship sailing into the harbor. The ship was full of empty cages so that and and that fellow anywhere was on it. I think they're planning to move the horses. To where? We need to escape. I don't know if we have to stand a chance against Mr. Anweir and all the guards if they find us here. If I, I've called Holly, she and Jonas are on their way, but they won't make it here on time. The best way we can do, the best we can hope for is that we make it out of this building. I'm not saying we should give up on the night dust, on night dust, but we need to get here. Be, we need to be rational here. No, no, no. But you're so close. Oh my God. You're so close. Dad, they can't take Night Dust. We have to save them. It's now or never. Sarah agrees with me, right, Sarah? I mean, I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. <sighs> I don't like this one bit, but if you think we can make it, Sarah, okay. All right, then, let's go. We can't be hanging around here. We need to hurry. Here, Sarah, take this crowbar and let's start opening those cages. If we're lucky, the horses might help us distract those people until Holly and Jonas get here. Really? Oh yeah, because horses like are dangerous. Horses can freaking stomp you. 